just this is a few presentation about the status of Jumma University library system on implementing uh, library technologies. So uh, these are the outlines. So library concept is Jumma University library objectives and uh, library uh, technologies should we have implemented in an, in our uh, environment. Sorry. So this is a concept of library that uh, library is a collection of resources in a variety of formats that organized by uh, professionals or experts provide convenient physical, digital, bibliographic, and intellectual access. It has also uh, a targeted services and the programs who uh, will uh, aimed to serve have uh, the mission of educating, informing, and entertaining a variety of audiences, uh, have the goal of stimulating individual learning and, and advancing a society as a whole. Because I, I bring this uh, idea because people may not understand the uh, library clearly because uh, some people see the, uh, say libraries uh, simply uh, where books and other information materials have been stored. It's not, because it is an institution that have, it is professional uh, who have organized in a well manner and uh, provide even uh, in, in a different uh, format is uh, based on users' needs. So uh, the main objective of Jumma University Library System is to provide relevant and up-to-date information Resources with easy access, preferable format, timely response, professional support, and a technical support to uh, satisfy users' information need. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, for the purposes of uh, teaching, learning, research activities, community services, administrative um, to support administrative. Uh, activities and uh, for uh, recreational purpose because there may there are there may be uh, users uh, who want to enjoy with uh, library resources like fictions they will enjoy with it and uh, develop their understanding too. Uh, libraries are uh, on, on on movement because uh, the development of ICT in today's world have influenced the way institutions and the professionals perform their activities. Uh, similarly, the users, the users' information needs also changed through uh, with the uh, uh, changing uh, technologies. Due to this, library is highly changing from time to time to competent to be competent institution and uh, meet uh, meet with uh, diverse users' information need. So, as you see from the picture, uh, library is moving from traditional or uh, physical uh, from only physical resources to the digital one because uh, in, in traditional library the user users will come to the library and uh, get the information material or the books they want but in digital era uh, users will access uh, from uh, everywhere uh, it's, it's not mandated to come to the uh, physical library but they can uh, access the library resources remotely uh, due to this, uh, as Juma University Library System, we have uh, implemented different uh, library technologies. The first one is library automation. Uh, we have automated all our library uh, resources. Uh, as a result of this automation, uh, our users can access the bibliographic information of books at its location or the library it belongs, number of copies which is existing in the library, type of materials, whether it is a stock book, reference book, or circulation book. Uh, it is a status uh, whether possible to loan or not before coming to uh, library physically. So, uh, similarly, it's, uh, we have uh, on the able to generate inventory report, number of automated books in title, copy, uh, by material type, as well by its location, or which branch library it belongs. Uh, the other one uh, is on, on online circulation, or which we say e-loan. Uh, previously, our users, uh, we provide a pocket for each library users 
and uh, our users will come to the library and uh, borrow the books by submitting their um, pocket. But now, uh, since we have automated it, simply by their ID, uh, users will uh, get this online service. Similarly, uh, it's, it's, it's easily uh, can generate a statistical report for the Elon, how many uh, books have been loaned within uh, a month or quarter or within a year. This is the interface of our library automation. As we say, I, I, I've uh, written a biochemistry. If uh, our uh, library user uh, find, want to check the biochemistry uh, book in uh, automated book in library, these are all the materials with the word biochemistry. So this is a result which will be displayed for our users. It's, it, it shows all the bibliographic information of that material, which was searched by the uh, word bio, um, biochemistry, or the, it's, it may be the title of the books. So it's displayed on this. Uh, on that corner, you will see um, the identification code of each uh, books. Then on the next line, you, you will get uh, on to which library uh, it belongs. Uh, for example, in case it is a postgraduate library, it's object type, it's the reference books or circulation or stack book, it says stack book, and it shows the status available. So users can get um, that book or can get a loan. Uh, this is also, uh, we have uh, uh, then also the, um, the digital library because the automation, uh, when we say automation, it simply uh, deals with the bibliographic information of uh, uh, library materials. But in case of um, uh, digital library, our users can get the books in digital form uh, rather than coming to the library and get the physical book. So uh, building digital library is very important for the easy, fast, and the convenient access to library resources at any time, wherever the network is available, uh, to, uh, for the effective storage and the digital, uh, organization of massive amounts of multimedia, uh, text and audio, video, um, organization and access to materials in many languages. It also improves searching and the browsing uh, capabilities. Uh, the other one is interoperability, uh, enabling the cross searching of many diverse collections at once. So uh, these are the other one uh, single uh, item can serve uh, many users at a time. So. This digitization uh, improves the support of the teaching and learning, especially for interdisciplinary work and the scholarly uh, collaboration across institutions. Uh, for example, if you take biochemistry, it will serve the medical students, the natural science students, biology, chemistry. But uh, by simply automating a single book, this whole community can uh, use uh, instantly or simultaneously at, uh, at a time. So uh, in case of Cost savings also, it, 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 it avoids uh, duplication of uh, resources, uh, uh, also in um, that of spaces too. Because since single, uh, for example, in medical science, if you take the book, uh, Hinari, all the medical students will uh, use that one. But if you uh, subscribe a single um, biochemistry book and uh, digitize it or uh, subscribe in born digital you will uh, and uh, after digitization uh, all uh, students will use this one it, it, it saves money and as well as space so this is our uh, digital library interface we have developed our digital library system using this space uh, which is free uh, software and we have customized the system to our real structure of uh, Juma University which is, uh, there is a university, there is a colleges, under colleges there are departments and each department has their own um, uh, resources. So uh, this, uh, uh, currently we have uh, more than 30,000 uh, uh, e-books which was selected and automated. Uh, this is uh, 
the other one is an institutional repository, which, is, which deals with the uh, uh, research output of Jumma University. Uh, first, let's let, let we see the institutional repository, what it means. Uh, it is a set of services that an institution offers to the members of this community for the management and dissemination of digital materials created by the institutions and uh, its uh, community members. It includes also uh, a commitment to the stewardship of, uh, stewardship of digital materials, long-term pre uh, preservation as well as organization and access for uh, the community. So Juma University is committed to disseminate its research output as widely as possible as open access without any uh, foreign interest to public use. Uh, because the motto of Jumma University is we are in the community. So uh, we are also uh, realizing the motto of Jumma uh, University by, uh, dis by making public access to uh, the research output is uh, done by uh, Jumma University uh, scholars and as well postgraduate students. This IR is developed to maximize the accessibility of JU research output is for the benefits of the community uh, uh, to realize the motto of we are in the community as I've said. Currently we have um, digitized more than 5,000 research output is uh, journal articles done by uh, senior staffs, uh, graduate thesis and the dissertations done by postgraduate students. <laughs> So, uh, what's, what's the importance of uh, developing an uh, institutional repository? Uh, this uh, bulletin uh, may answer this question. It enhances fast sharing of research findings to wider community. Uh, it also ensures both the research community and the public are gaining knowledge derived from the uh, research and the maximum benefit from this output is. It provides the long-term preservation of uh, the university's research output is uh, to also increase the visibility and the impact of the institution's research uh, output is because as 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 uh, uh, institution uh, it has focuses on three dimensions uh, teaching learning research activities and uh, community service so uh, as as the community service or influences the environment, the surrounding communities. Uh, when the research done and uh, make public to uh, the society, and uh, when the, uh, the research output also utilized by the surrounding community, it will um, show the impact. Uh, similarly, it improves institutional uh, visibility in web ranking because the my university uh, for many times have been on a good web ranking, which was be done by Webometrics uh, of uh, African uh, universities. It also has a positive influences on fighting plagiarism, as the research outputs have been openly accessible to uh, everyone, because uh, plagiarism is, is, is a serious issue uh, currently in academic areas. So as the resource be open and everyone can see, it, it has it is positive influence to uh, avoiding um, uh, plagiarism because uh, plagiarism uh, may raise from the hidden things. Uh, others, it improves the profile of our uh, university uh, authors, researchers through the citation because at, as it been uh, publicly uh, displayed to everyone and uh, each researcher or postgraduate site the research output is of our um, done by Juma University. It will be it will uh, give a recognition as an institution or as a researcher. So the other one is it, it, it enhances collaboration with global research community. So this is our um, the Juma University um, an institutional repository. Uh, uh, by the way, we have also uh, developed the open access policy, how this um, institutional repository will be publicly accessible. And we have asked as the vice president from, uh, for academic affairs, Professor Tai said, uh, it, it's also presented on the Senate and approved uh, by Juma University Senate. Senate. So uh, it seems it's like, thank you.